Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, today we're talking about getting custom fields into PDQ inventory. Uh, we're going to use the departments property from Active Directory. That's one that's not grabbed by default, but it does exist in there. Uh, so if you filled that out, it might be handy to be able to get that into your system. Uh, Suddenly you could use like a PowerShell scanner to get that in there. And with that, you could use that table to do custom reports or dynamic collections, but you can't really put it uh, front and center here like you can if it was a custom field. So the first thing, we're going to go to options and go to custom fields and a new field and we're just going text and name it, makes sense to name it department, it is the department field. Okay there, and there we go. Now that's done, it's just all about PowerShell. So the first thing we're doing is we're grabbing all the all the computers in Active Directory and we have to specify properties, it's not grabbed by default, so you wanna make sure if it's something that's not a default grab, do property, specify it here. And we only need the name and the department, and we're going to export that to a CSV. And now that we've got that, this is just the CLI tool that comes, uh, that is there when you install inventory. So PDQ inventory, import custom fields, that's the CSV you're doing there. This is the computer name column. So right now we're grab name here, so we called it name here. If this was called computer name, you put that there, it just has to match it. Uh, point it to the direction so it matches and then it will run for you. And then custom fields, department equals department. If it was organization, you'd put organization there. And then allow overwrite. We just built the custom fields and so nothing's there, but it's just not a bad idea to have that to avoid conflicts. If it's something you're not sure about what's going in there, uh, you could put in a what if, and it's just going to tell you what would happen. Are we going to run that? Uh, I'm pretty sure that works. We're just going to delete the CSV because we don't want old files hanging around. All right, now we're gonna come into inventory and this is where you can add it to the to the front and center here. The edit columns, it's gonna be alphabetical from when you built it. It is case sensitive, so if it was lowercase department, it's gonna be at the very bottom. Like that, close that, and there you can see nothing there yet, but if we refresh that, it's gonna fill out with every single department that it has in Active Directory. And, and that's just a quick way, it's, there it goes, it pops up. It's just a quick way where you can go through Query Active Directory, pull the information you want, and put that into a custom field that you have des uh, designed, and it gives you a little bit more control, a little bit more uh, customization to the outlook of your inventory when you open up. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.